with this. I'm not coming out. <laughs> Well, look at this. My first show, the Howard Stern interview, and who am I sitting here with? Gary Shandling. Gary, on a scale of one to ten, one being the worst, ten being the best, evaluate the open to this show where I am swishing back and forth with my head swaying in the wind. The, uh, uh, I would give myself a ten. Right. I saw that. You were I funny. Would, I would give you, actually, a t I like the opening. You like it? I like on it. On a scale of one to ten? I'd be honest with you. Is that a ten? I'm pointing towards the monitors so people don't know. It's right. Is it ten? Now, there I there am. I come up to it. That. Now here's the move I like. This that's this right. looks kind of effeminate. Wait, you could that's have had a, a little more makeup. Ooh, yeah, you, wait, that's effeminate. That looks like I'm trying to be uh, Christy Brinkley or yeah, something. Yeah, no. But I think I look handsome. Well, let's say it looks like you got a lot of makeup on. What you right. do there? A uh, scale then, of one to ten, do I look effeminate? Ten being the most effeminate, one being the least effeminate. 11, do I look effeminate? Eleven. In there? That's 11, an eleven of effeminacy. Which is not necessarily bad. No, I think it's nice. a lot nice. of men are attracted to uh, women, so you've got to score. On there. a scale of one to ten, do you think I'm attractive? You know, I was going to bring my high school picture because I look like you in high school. I saw you really? your high school picture and we looked alike. You look uh, good. The first thing people say when you come in here, I said, so how's it, how's it going to be? This is, uh, how, how does everybody feel? Howard looks great. Is Do you all think my said. hair is stupid? <laughs> all they say is Howard looks great. I yeah. said, what's he going to ask me? Doesn't matter. Howard Wait, looks you see great. Howard is well, wearing. by the way, let me just say for the first E! show, I am being dressed by Henry Duarte. Very nice. And this really. is a, they told me I needed longer jackets to cover my now ass. This, this, uh... Well, please, not in my face. Look please. at that. <laughs> Howard. I, but I, I have to tell you, let's talk about the set. The set looks a little bit like not since Playboy After Dark. All kidding aside, we're in that area of... Scale of 1 to 10? I, I, it's, it's like I used to have a van like this in the this 60s. This is a van. Do it's you a know little like a van. Called? Do you know what this is called? I, I don't know what this is called. I don't know what... I guess. This, this is called a banquette. This is, what wow. we, this is not a couch. This is a banquette. Mm -hmm. It's good to meet you, Gary, because you are a talk show fan. You went right from Banquette to nice to meet you. Yeah, you like That's that, don't four. you? That's don't you evaluate me as I go along. <laughs> this is not an easy job. No, it isn't. I, this is something called the E-Channel. On a scale of 1 to 10, how easy is it to get the E-Channel at your house? Uh, actually, at my house, it's, it's, it's a 10 to it's get at my house. I can't pick it up at my house. I can get it easily at my house. A lot of pressure on me for this show. <laughs> a lot of pressure on me for this show, Gary. Just hang with me. A lot of pressure on you. Everyone told me not to do this. <laughs> a lot of pressure on you. There's a lot of pressure on Don't me. Don't be concerned about how your guest feels. Hold it a second. There's a lot how of How do you think I feel? You haven't stopped. I, I feel so awkward. And you're going, a lot of pressure on me. No, my a new lot show. Of, you don't feel awkward. You're having a good time. First oh, of all, uh, thank you're you. a big I, fan of mine. And something that would help me with the first show is if you would kiss my ass a little bit and tell me how great I am. T talk about why you listen to me on the radio and why you are excited about my television and movie career. <laughs> talk about I, I swear to God, this is exactly what I was going to say to you. Yeah. Now, come on, say something nice about me. Okay, you say something nice about me, and then... All right, we'll, I think we'll... your new show, The Larry Sanders yeah. Show, want an honest opinion? Yes. I think The Larry Sanders Show on HBO is a very good show. I think it's a funny show, except mm -hmm. it gets critical success but not rating success. Why has that been to Gary Shandling history? <laughs> What's no seriously? What happens? You As do opposed great shows. to you, you who do gets not a lot of critical success, but a lot of people rating listen. success. Yeah, and I have not yet been sued or threatened by the FCC. <laughs> That's true. You don't have those. Kind and of I'm problems. proud of that. But seriously, why is that? You do put on great shows. I find all of your shows entertaining, and then uh, the commercial success in terms of getting these huge, massive well. appeal audiences. What happens? What goes wrong? What's the problem? <laughs> <laughs> quickly, all, quickly, all quickly! Those, all those people were right. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't be here. Are you glad you're here? Seriously. I shouldn't be here. Tell not, people why not, this is I'm not glad I'm here yet. I'm not comfortable yet. Do you feel this is going our good pacing, so far? Well, our pacing is so different. I'm laid back and you're so wired. I need you. I need but you. But I'm, I'm happy to answer all the questions. Quickly answer the questions. But I, 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 I see now the pacing with which you work, and I'm yeah. frightened. <laughs> it's intense. Um, wait till we get to your girlfriends, and wait till we get no. to all that other stuff later well, in the interview. Well, it's a similar question. Why don't I have mass appeal? But oh, right. listen, right. the. Uh, so my first of all, let me say that the HBO series, yes. the Larry Sanders Show, yes. will be on every night, right. starting December seventh on HBO. Every night every they're going to show it. They're going to show. There's thirteen of them. They're going to show them every night, December seventh through whatever. Are you kidding me? The because 20th. I was expecting At Porky's. They've been showing that every uh, night on HBO. Calm down. This thanks. HBO yeah. is the, I, aside so, from your show, it's the worst. Every no. time I tune into HBO, no. yes. You know this is true. No. 
They show the same movie over and over and over, and over again. I didn't, I didn't, haven't even gotten to kiss your ass yet. Yeah, kiss my ass. Talk about you know, why this I'm is what so, I, I have so many things we have to, we have to, are we done with the set? Now we, we jumped right by kissing your ass. Do you understand the then, pressure on me? Then I said, say something nice about me, and you went right into why aren't you, why don't you have high ratings? No, you know you're funny. You're, 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 you're <laughs> at a scale of one to ten, I would evaluate you, evaluate you as a stand-up comic. Don't, don't, uh, don't. Seven. You're only going to hurt me. A which seven. Is, that's which is very high. Excuse me, a nine. I just, I see the look in your face. A nine. That's a nine. That's a nine. A nine. You're a nine. All right, you're a ten. I don't there really, you go. I don't Say really something care. nice about me. You're a six. Yeah. The, uh, <laughs> uh, well, I, now I listen to your radio show, and we listen to your radio show at, uh, at my show right. in the makeup room. In fact, I dropped you a card once saying we have the radio on, we listen to you. Right. And uh, I, I think you're uh, great on the radio. So you but would I say, did not, but would I you did say not. I'm a genius? Would you say I'm as great as Lenny Bruce was? Would you say I'm a genius? I don't know. The way you stood up there was pretty inspired. I got excited. <laughs> Jesus, every time you talk about yourself, your energy takes over, and okay, you, no. you can't contain yourself. No, would you say that I'm brilliant? This is not what I expected. Would you say that I'm brilliant? No. Did you, were you a fan of Lenny Bruce? Very big fan of Lenny Bruce. Do you think Bruce. I'm as brilliant as Lenny Bruce? Yeah, real you close. Do? <laughs> you do? You're s All right, we're going to take a break. We're here with Gary Shandling, the star of The Larry Sanders Show. You're somewhere between Lenny Bruce and Sally Jesse Raphael. I'll take that. I'll take that as a compliment. You took that as a compliment? Yes. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> going to show that intro every time you take a break we got to see you looking through that thing first of all i'm proud of that because that intro was shot on film and uh, i think i look very yeah. very glamorous i think and beautiful. it shows your acting ability i think it shows why you can make the leap to fart man right from this <laughs> let me tell you something fart man will be a big movie sure, success sure. i am working on a movie from new line cinema now mm -hmm. i believe that this movie will gross 150 million dollars you had a movie deal you were going to make the gary shandling movie what happened well, actually, the script was exactly like the TV series, so once the TV series continued for four years, there was no reason to do the movie, and I didn't want to do the movie. So you backed out of the movie? Yes, I did. They wanted to do the movie? Yes, they So you did still want to do movies? Yes, I still want to do movies. Why did people tell you not to do this show? I don't understand. Tons of people who, told me who not to do Who are the people that tell you not to do it? Well, unfortunately, I won't say their names. Why? Because Why won't you? it's not fair to them. I, Celebrities I, said not to? Well, did Richard, because, Lewis, Richard Lewis say not to do it? No, no. I don't think anyone you know, really. Agents? Agents. Uh, just people, I'd say, hey, Howard Stern uh, asked if I would be his first guest, what do you think? And they'd go, oh, man, are you out of your mind? That's because... They said, <laughs> Why, though? <laughs> because some people, like, uh, think that... Uh, some people think you're really talented. Right. Some people think you're just like this passing fad. And some people think you're not, uh, it's not that classy of a thing to do. And I did it because, uh, first of all, I like listening to you. Right. Number two, I never sk went skydiving, never did bungee cord jumping. I figured, you, you liking it hey, to that? this is a risk I applaud you. I applaud you. Applaud you. You know, this standing up thing. You don't like that? I don't know. It's, you it's, think it's wrong? I don't know who you're standing up for. I'm just standing and then up. The camera, I'm getting excited. That poor somebody... Scott there on the camera has got to go, well, oh boy, all... i got to go through years of this. You no, know, you're a big, you're a big celebrity. If this show continues, you're going to have cameramen with whiplash. You are, a big, you are a big celebrity. For you to come out and say something like that helps me. The fact that you would say something nice like that, that you, uh, you liken it to bungee jumping, but, but even still, it's, it's, a, it's risk. A, a risk you this should is, take. Because I had no idea. that Everyone said, wait and watch the show, see what the show's like before you jump into it. And this is what everybody says to me, wait and watch the show, but how am I supposed to book guests if everyone's waiting to watch the show? So I applaud you and I thank you Well, for that's actually on. the same thing that, uh, uh, that happened on my series, is that why I would ask people to come on and they didn't know what the series was, and now I, it's a little easier to get guests on the Larry Sanders show. You asked me to come it. on your show and I said no. I rejected you. Yeah. The only reason I rejected mm -hmm. you, it's not that I don't like the show, I love the show. Mm -hmm. I think the show is great. Mm -hmm. But I feel that if I go on your show, do you want to know the reason mm -hmm. really why I didn't do your show? No. You do not want to know. No. All right, let's move on. <laughs> you do want to know. The reason I didn't do your show, the reason I didn't do your show was because I felt that my acting debut should be made in my film. Fart Man. Fart Man. And if I use that up, if I use it up on Fart Man, yeah. Fart Man will be great. Admit it, you want to see this movie. Is, that, is, it, is Fart Man a, 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 an autobiographical? No. Fart Man will be a character. Is it a character? A guy who gets He's a power. superhero. You know, he's not always a superhero. He was once a regular guy, much like yourself. And then what happened? And then he becomes, through an accident, and I'm not going to tell you what the accident is, he gets oh. super farting abilities. All right. Now, let's switch topics. 
So we can show people how uh, versatile, versatile an interviewer. That's right. And how? Be honest with me. <laughs> on a you you watch all the talk shows, right? Do you watch all the talk shows? Um, I think I've seen all of them. You saw Arsenio. You saw uh, Dennis Miller show. You saw Jay Leno show. Yeah. All right. Uh, Arsenio. I'm doing Jay. Show. I'm doing Jay's show in a, in about a week. Will Jay last? Uh, the week? Be honest. Will <laughs> so Jay I'm last on. the week? Will Jay last? Will Jay Leno last? I think uh, I think it's an interesting time. I think I don't know the truth of that matter, but I think that the, the, that Jay's vulnerable now because Jay is dull. I think Jay's vulnerable now because David Letterman is threatening to leave, and, and I don't think Letterman anybody knows how it will turn out. I happen to think Dave has got the best talk show in years. And Dave will win. I don't know what NBC will choose to do, but I think Dave Letterman is the best uh, talk show host. Right. But I think Jay does what he does You think Jay's uh, well. just okay? On a scale of 1 to 10, Jay's I think Jay's, I think the, t the Tonight Show as it is is not as creative a show. And you hate the music on the Tonight Show, true? Isn't it kind of dull and bland? You know what? I'm one of those people, honestly, who doesn't pay attention to the music. You don't care the about the music show. on I don't, the Tonight I don't, Show? I don't, I, don't, I don't watch the Tonight Show for the you? music. But so it doesn't bother me one way or the other. I've got to ask you about Arsenio when we come back. Ask Smoochio. Oh, when no. we come back. Let me take a break. We have to then see that. You looking through the plastic thing again? Let me take a... Let me take a we're going to come back. Look at me looking through the plastic thing. You look thing. like a peeping Tom, I'm starting to think. In here's that. the agenda. When we come back, what we're going to do... I still haven't kissed your ass. You're going to kiss my... Here's what's going to happen. We're going to look at me looking through the glass. All right. When you come up, you're going to kiss my ass right off we the top. We should close on me kissing your ass because you can't follow that. All right. Skip the ass kissing. We're going to go right to Asmuccio. Okay. Asmuccio Hall. All right. And then after we talk about Asmuccio, we're going to take a look at pictures of your girlfriend, your uh, present girlfriend, yes. on the Larry Sanders show. Yes. Right after these words. Okay. Bring a hair person with you? Is that a, no, that? no, no. Let's, no, I don't. No, bring what a hair do you bring? You bring the guy Judd with you? Now, Judd Apatow is my friend who's producing the Ben Stiller show now, on how Fox. Come you, and and during the commercial, you had to seek his approval. I you, said, Judd, how's this going? Right. And because, what did Judd say? Uh, Judd said, he said, I, I always wanted wanted to see a person uh, squirm, see what that really looks like. So I guess you, I might, must mean me. Uh, and my assistant Kelly uh, Grant Kelly. is my assistant. How old is she? How old is Kelly? Uh, Kelly, how old are you? 36? Can I get a look at you? Oh, Howard, I'm don't sorry. do, don't do what, that. Why, is that wrong? Is that wrong? Yeah. Yeah. You got a lot of, I like to, uh, why is that wrong? Why is that wrong that I want to look at Robo? Well, I'm a man. There's nothing. Oh. I'm a man. Oh. The, uh, there's nothing wrong with a man looking her over, but to pull her out on television or something you would think make that's her wrong? feel awkward. Because, yeah, she's, she's just nice to come and participate and sit behind the camera. Here you are, a guy who goofs on uh, television shows. The Larry Sanders show is you're making fun of other talk shows. Mm. Asmuccio right. is everything you should hate in life. True? I mean, Arsenio is the, is the uh, quintessential host that you make fun of. He's the guy who gets in your face and kisses mm -hmm. your ass, doesn't mm -hmm. ask you anything interesting. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, everything is very safe. Mm -hmm. Do, don't you agree with that? Well, what I, what, I, what I don't like and what the Larry Sanders show really explores is the hypocrisy between a host that's one way on the air, but in real life is, is, is something else. And is Arsenio that guy? Well, unfortunately, I don't know Arsenio well enough to know the answer to that. If I did, I would tell you. But I, the times I've been with Arsenio, he's, a, he's been a very nice guy in real life as well. And how now, do you feel show, about his show? His show, uh, he brings his point of view to the show. I believe uh, that, the, I you know. believe you, you're just uh, lying now. I think, <laughs> I think what you Three mean time, to say... I'm keeping track of this. Three times you've told me what I'm feeling, yes, all right? Yes, I'm telling you. Were there a shrink here, yes. they'd be all over you. I think you're right, lying right now. I let think, Gary, I let th Gary tell us what he's feeling. What well. show don't you like? Come on, <laughs> what show don't you like? What show are you not a fan of? Uh, I, on, I, I, I used to be a situation comedy writer, and I don't like certain situation comedies. Like what? What like, did you like? like uh, I don't like. Say, uh, you see, you're afraid to say perfect, what you don't like. Uh, perfect uh, strangers. Perfect I don't, strangers I'm not a fan you don't of. like. That is so controversial for you to say that. <laughs> Come on, you well, serious? it's controversial for me because I know the people that are associated with it, and they're all fine individually. I see. So you don't like the you don't like the bad. Yeah, I anymore. mean, you know, everybody. It's hard to do too. If you were doing a series, you'd realize how difficult it is to do. And Evaluate you know, this funny, interview huh? so far. How is it going on a scale of one to ten? Uh, I'll let you know when I start participating. Yeah, I, I, you don't think you're getting enough in? Huh? You don't think you're talking enough? I, I'm happy not to talk. I certainly don't need to talk, but I couldn't tell you how it's going. See, you're asking me. I asked Judd. Yeah. We're all confused. No I, one knows. No one is really clear on how this show I'm is going. I'm telling you, people at home right now are going, honey, what? Is this a good show? <laughs> Nobody's really sure. All right, listen, I'm going to take a break.
When we get back. Oh, we're not the break again. Yes, the break with it. <laughs> I'm going to take a break, and then what's going to happen is oh. this. We're going to come back and talk about your sex life and my theory on it, and why I don't think you'll ever commit to one woman, and why I think you've got it too damn good in this life with women, and that women should basically not sleep with you anymore. I'll come back and give you my theory on that. Excellent. We will be back with he, <laughs> Gary Shandling, a great stand-up comedian and the uh, star of the Larry Sanders Show. You're also the executive uh, and producer. And it's going to be on every night starting December 7th. December 7th, every night on HBO. Which is, I think, only 30 channels from this. Right. <laughs> we'll be back right after this. Um, I don't know. Yeah, we're back here. I'm Howard Stern. This, of course, is Gary Shandling from the Larry Sanders Show. You know what I want to do? I want to take a look at that clip now. The Larry Sanders Show, Gary plays a guy who's a talk show host, and in this is your present girlfriend. Now, how long have you been with this one? With this one? Yeah, this one. Now, you've had a lot of girlfriends. You know what? You're, you're like me. You're not a particularly handsome man. You're, you, I mean, you, seriously, I'm not a handsome man. Do you consider yourself handsome? Yes. You do? Uh -huh. Well, all right. No, no, seriously, you don't consider yourself handsome, yes, right? Yes, I do. I'm not insulting you when I say that you're not handsome. Yes, you are. I am. <laughs> I've heard you on the radio after you, after you hang up yeah. from me, talking to me on the radio. Right. You say, he wouldn't be uh, having a girlfriend like this if not he like wasn't the one, in show business. Not like the one that you have on this HBO yeah, show. This I is your real-life girlfriend. Yeah. And you met her at a party. And you walked in and she said, there's Gary Shanley. And, and let's face it, when you were in high school, uh, no girl in your high school class would ever see you walk into a room and go, oh my God, it's Gary Shanley, I have to have him. Isn't that true? You're like me a lot that way. Uh, no girls ever came on to me in high school. When did you lose your virginity? How old were you? I was old. I was like 20, 20 or 21. I don't remember. I think it was actually the full year, 20 so, through 21. So you, me. so you were not attractive to women up until that point? No, that's not true. Oh, was, you were attracted. Uh, you I was, were holding out. Let's take a look at this beautiful girlfriend, and you evaluate. Could Gary get this girl if he was not on television? Excuse me, Larry. Let's see this. And keep our microphone. Uh, that's her. Clearing the way. The blonde. Long come in here. Yes, have you had sex her. with her? Did you have sex with her? Wait. I did not. I look good. You look nice. Who is that blonde? You didn't now, who was your blonde? You that's even, your girlfriend? You didn't even listen to the scene. I could care less about the scene. That is your girlfriend? Why don't we just freeze it and make a poster out of it, for uh, God's that, sake? That is your girlfriend? Yeah, Linda. Linda oh, Gusset. my God. I mean, <coughs> I, would, would you, I mean, I would do the Heine dance every night for a girl like that. Well, I don't know what the Heine dance is, but yes, you would. Will you ever get married? You will never marry anyone, because isn't it true? And I have a theory yes, about Yes, whatever you're going to say, yes. Guys like you <laughs> and Richard Lewis, <laughs> comedians yeah. like you and Richard Lewis and a, and a couple of the other comics now yeah. are sort of becoming sex symbols. Oh, I've heard, your, I've heard your theory on this. And because they're, now they can use their, their newfound status to... Jerry Seinfeld. No, I think that, honestly, the reason that it's been difficult for people like Richard Lewis and myself to get married is that we've had, we've had dominating mothers who make it difficult to no. be willing... No, that's you a lie. Uh, that's a lie. not a lie. The problem I is... I was on another cable show and have analyzed this. The problem so. is, you know, you know so many... Wait a second, Gary. You know so many women yeah. who will, are willing to sleep with you because you're Gary Shanley. It would be impossible to commit to one woman at well, this point. Look, am I correct? <clears throat> you're not correct. I am because, correct. Because... How many I mean, women here would sleep with Gary? Well, raise your hands. There are that, seven women yeah. raising their hands. You can't sure. see this. No. Three of them are vice presidents of the E Network. <laughs> no, I mean that's a fantastic luxury in life. And why would why would you get married when you have all these? I women didn't to see anybody from? raise their hand. I saw some people raise their hand. All right, it's dark out there. To me, it's just an abyss. But you, all right. Are you a happy man? No. You are not. Yes, happy. I am. I'm pretty happy. You're happy now because you have everything in life you want. So how long have you been with this particular girlfriend? Five years. Five years. Yes, sir. And yet no marriage. Yes, this is what you said. To and you will not have the marriage. Uh, I, I indeed may get married someday because I would like to get married and have kids someday. You would like. I think I think of myself as really struggling to be very normal and do all those normal things, not going off the other way and being some slick sort of showbiz. Will you make her sign a prenuptial agreement? <clears throat> yes. You will. All right. All right. There it is. There is everything you wanted to know about. But Gary I'll sign Shane. one also. You would sign one yeah. as well. Yeah. All right. Now that you've done the entire program. You've been on my show now. It was a half-hour interview, one-on-one. -on -one. Tell the truth. Was it not good? Uh, I, I, Scale of I, one to ten, how do you feel now? Uh, 
I feel very awkward. Yeah. I, I feel used. Yes. I feel, are you sorry you came? Yes. You are? I feel... Uh, uh, would you, come on, be honest now. Would you recommend this to other celebrities? Celebrities are going to ask you what it was I like. I would recommend it to anyone who enjoys being... Uh, uh, put in the hot seat. Well, feeling, wait a second. Uh, How did I put you in the hot seat? Didn't you? Didn't I make you look good? Didn't I give you a lot of uh, funny uh, lines and stuff? No. Didn't I? No, I did I not make you look so. good. You don't think so? I don't know. Do people think that I look good? How did he come off? Uh, then I take it all back and I give it a ten. You do give it a ten. Oh, there. That's awfully decent of you. Give it a ten. Well, anyway, I do appreciate you coming on because there are a lot of people who are afraid to do the show. And I think you showed uh, a certain uh, bravery coming on the program. And I see, I For think, me, it is. Yeah, certainly. and I know, I think you proved something. I think you said, hey, Howard's okay to do an interview with. True? I, 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 he is okay. And anybody out there watching, any other celebrities. All right. <laughs> All right, the Larry Sanders Show. It's a real funny show. Gary Shandling, thanks for coming on. And we'll see you the next time on the Howard Stern interview. Yeah. Thank you, Howard. That was not painful. This wasn't as bad as I really thought it was going to be. <laughs> what did you expect? Hell. Hell. Stay tuned and find out.